So just like every single other video I've made, there's like a buttload of mistakes, but this one's different. You know why? Because there were so many different mistakes, but at the end, it turned out better than the ones that had the mistakes in. That probably doesn't make sense, but to me it does. So basically, I started off with the idea of making this like strapless dress that had like a corset back and then a slide slit. Okay. So we made that and then we found out that I have no boobs so there is absolutely nothing that would keep that dress up. So I was really ready to settle on that because I'm lazy. But then I thought okay I don't want to be uncomfortable for the rest of the night so we should like make something better. So then I wanted to make a completely brand new dress and it was going to be black and like have this frilly thingy. I don't know. I I just found it on Pinterest and I was like, this looks easy, I'll just do this, perfect. So then I go to the fabric store, buy the fabric and all that garbage, and then I tried out the dress four different times, I tried to make the bodice, and every single time it looked like absolute garbage. Just literally horrendous, Disgu disgusting, absolutely disgusting. So then I thought, great, I'm going to the quinceanera naked. <laughs> I was angry but now I have a dress and I wore it and it was pretty comfortable honestly and like I just taped my boobs because I don't know I didn't have a bra that was like that would fit that maybe that's weird maybe you don't want to know that I'm sorry you can charge me my Venmo will be down below all right now you can enjoy the video this was so long I'm so sorry oh my god Alright, so the back piece, which was like the corset back, is the only piece of the dress that I actually used from the original one in the final product. The way I did that was I cut out a piece of fabric that was going to be the same measurements as the piece that was going to be on the front, well, which would have been on the front, and then I made a slanted edge for the top part. After that, I cut out a J piece, and then after that, I folded over the raw edge so that there would be no black showing and then I stitched above that and then that's how you have the corset back and I watched a tutorial by Makara Terrors because I don't have the range to think of such an innovative and genius process so yeah watch it so the next step in this horrendous process was to cut out a piece of fabric that was probably one inch wide and then about 12 inches in length. I folded it over and then I sewed it and then I used a safety pin to pull it out so then it'd be right side out. And then I cut three little things that could be loops and then I would use those to loop it on the back of the corset piece so that I would have three loops per side and then those would be what you would string your straps pieces through and I don't have video of what that looked like because my laptop is garbage actually it's not but I don't know I'm not really good at exporting stuff after all that commotion I finally put some socks on and then I started to get down to business this meant cutting out the long ass pieces for the straps that would go from the front of the dress and zigzag it up and then tie at the back now this was a mission because it was a lot of fabric and I hate sewing lines and that's it it honestly wasn't that hard but I just hate sewing straight lines so yeah next you're gonna cut out four pieces that look like a six-year-old's drawing of a house then you're gonna add a curved line that looks like that that goes on a tennis ball cut that curved line out and sew it right back where you cut it out from I don't know why I did this but I feel like it looks cool so I recommend it next you're gonna sew the pieces together right down the middle for both pieces then you're going to put the panels together and sew above where the where the v is at you're going to leave the sides open and then the bottom open so that you can attach the corset backing 
After all that, you're just going to get the corset backing and you're going to sew it to the sides of the dress, making sure that everything, when it's, un or when it's sewn and it's spread out, it's all right sides together. So, or it's all in one piece, you know? Like, you don't want to sew it and then one side it's like, oh yeah, this looks cool, but then you forget and like you sew it backwards. Just don't sew it backwards. Next, I cut the dress piece from the original bodice piece because I was too lazy to unstitch it. After that, I thought I could just sew a straight line down the skirt and it would be a skirt that fit me. But that didn't work out and I looked like I was wearing a wetsuit. I then tried to redo, redo, redo all of the measurements and I just put that thing on my body and then used a million pins to try to make sure that it fit me well enough to where I could actually move. Then I sewed it all together Finally, I pinned the bodice piece to the skirt piece and then I sewed it all around. Now, the bodice piece I feel was a bit bigger or wider than the skirt piece, so I did have to stretch the fabric and, you know, kind of finesse it into the machine so that it went all the way around, but it's okay, it worked out. After that, I got this long ass piece that I cut for the strap and I cut it in half. And then that's it. I just sewed it to the top and then that I was done. I was literally Wait, done. Wait, I forgot I added a, a side slit, so um, ignore that. But next I got a highlighter and I marked where I wanted it to go. And then I put it on and then just basically cut it as high up. I didn't sew the, enge the, enges the edges together or anything. I literally just cut a piece and then that's it. And I was, And then I was done. That's when I was officially done.